Hi friends, I am Rizwan Asad from IMB Nashiaman News, uh, bringing you the updates of uh, IMA. What has happened? It's 20 days since uh, uh, Mansoor has uh, absconded from the uh, city. We are leaving lot of investors in the lurch, and many are still wondering what to do. And with all his property getting seized, we have got an update from the enforcement director. How much of his property is? Been seized. According to Mansoor, what he released in his video is entirely different from what it is in reality. He has told a lot of things, and we today, after the raids conducted in all his shops, in his uh, jewelry stores, in his uh, supermarket, in other places, the enforcement director has come out with the press release. This is this. Uh, ED attaches 209 crores in the Fonsi scheme. Enforcement director has today provisionally attached immobile properties worth. 197 crores, 98 lakhs from 51 bank accounts and 11 crores from HDFC bank held in Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Deposits Scheme under Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 in the Fonzi Scheme. It, you, it might be recalled that when uh, IT had raided previously this 44 crores and after that 22 crores of the investors money has been paid in the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Deposits. Based on the FIR dated 9-6-2019 under section 406 and 420 of the IPC 1860 registered by Bangalore Police against IMA Group of Companies and its managing director Mansoor, the director of enforcement, in, have initiated investigations under PMLA, that is uh, Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002, which is a serious offence and serious uh, action would be taken. The FIR also has revealed that the accused entity has cheated more than 40,000 to middle class and lower middle class through the Fonzi schemes. This is the uh, complaints which have come till now. There are reports that more complaints have, are to be registered. But in some uh, YouTube channels and some other people are trying to dissociate them saying that it's only 4,700. But if it's 4,700, how come 40,000 people have given complaints is uh, to be seen. The city is also working under that and the enforcement directors is yet to see that. It is also suspected that Mansoor is absconding since the registration of FIR. It may be recalled that Mansoor was called on June 6th. One day after the Eid ul Fitr, he was called to the CCB for questioning. He had gone along with his auditor, he spoke, he gave the details and he told on Monday, I will bring all the documents to your office and in the meantime, on Sunday itself, he has absconded on the 8th of June. It is uh, investigation also says that uh, the accused can company, the accused and his company directors are also equally uh, uh, part and parcel of this money laundering scheme through which they have cheated many common people and generated proceeds in crime of form of movable and immovable properties. It must, you all will be knowing that he, has, uh, he himself has said that there are so many properties and which he has now, according to the enforcement director, these money belong to the investors. So the investors' money, they have converted into their personal uh, assets and now they are trying to say that sell it. It is nothing but an eyewash done by uh, Mansoor and his directors where they try to uh, make the properties in their thing. A dedicated team of was constituted to investigate the case. It is revealed that Mansoor Khan was promise, had promised all the investors 2.5 to 3 percent per month to all invest investors. Investigations revealed that IM Group was not doing any business to pay the money. So now the question arises whether it was a Fonzi scheme or a scam. It is up to the enforcement director to come out publicly and they have told even in their press release, it's a Fonzi scam and uh, uh, many are trying, many of his associates and many of his friends uh, are still uh, supporting saying that it's not a Fonzi scam. If it is not a Fonzi scam, where is the money gone? And if it was, if he was doing business, why the money was not coming? Is it still a question and investigation will reveal that very shortly. And Mr. Manzoor, according to ED, Manzoor was running a Fonzi scam and were working and all the directors and everybody were working under the instructions of Mr. Mansoor Khan. This is uh, to be noted from uh, the sources that all everybody knew it who were working with him and those agents who have collected money everybody in the office knew it so far 20 immobile properties held in name of Mansoor have been identified and you know uh, crime uh, criminal cases have been launched the valuation of these 20 crores property 20 properties is at 
rupees 197 crores evaluated by the government approvers so they can't make a mistake the government approval valuers have whatever the properties 45 or 50 properties or 20 properties whatever they have done it's only 197 crores on the analysis of 105 bank accounts with various private banks and cooperative societies of the ime group of companies it is revealed that mohammad mansoor khan had received 4000 crores as investments so now it has come to light that you know 4000 crores of investments had has been collected through various 105 banks and these uh, the accused or associates have diverted the amounts of various accounts into their personal accounts and immovable and movable properties in their names in the name of other directors as well as associates so nobody is innocent in this scam the directors who have been arrested they these 4000 crores of investors money has been direct uh, go, account has gone uh, money has gone through their accounts also so the investigation is on and investigation done so far have identified that 105 banks account the available balance in this account is only 12 crore rupees as of today which the enforcement director has uh, given the press release it is not been said by ima nashim news or its thing it is the official news sent by the ed so you have to believe what we are saying and investigation also say reveal that mansoor has deposit cash of 44 crores in various bank during the demonetization period and during this period when the income tax had raided and taken action 22 crores he had paid to the padan mantri uh, yojana and 11 crores were still lying in the bank so it's a question mark why so much 11 crores which were lying in the bank have been identified and have been confiscated accordingly that uh, 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 properties and 12 crores have been attached ed is in the process of issuing red corner notice very shortly as mansoor is absconding and they are seeing to bringing a, invoking a fugitive offenders act where you know he is been declared as a fugitive so now this is uh, latest uh, information about ima and uh, we'll be updating you very shortly what's going to happen and keep watching us and keep seeing and share our imb nashiman news and for further details we'll update you shortly till then goodbye